Hi folks, we are here today to talk about why England was the first country to industrialize. But before we start, just want to make sure you're clear on the goal of this screencast. At the end of this screencast, you should be able to say, I can identify multiple reasons why England was the first country to undergo the Industrial Revolution. Page 4 should help guide you through this screencast and kind of make clear what those reasons were why England was the first country that was able to undergo the Industrial Revolution. So keep that in mind as you watch, and let's begin. We need to define what industrialization is first, though. This is the process of machi machines producing goods. England was the first country to ever to undergo this heavily this heavy turn to machines to create goods. So that is why we are talking about them today. Before we get started, though, the three natural resources that we're going to be talking about, we'll talk a little bit about coal, a little bit about iron ore, and a little bit about rivers and canals. These were the three important natural resources that allowed countries to industrialize. We'll start with coal. Coal was really important because it provided power for steam-driven machines. So after James Watt invented the steam engine, coal became incredibly important because that was used to create the steam that drove all of these steam-driven machines. Next up we've got iron ore. Iron ore was used to make the machines, to make the tools, and to make the buildings that housed these factories during the Industrial Revolution. So it was integral to kind of the, the creation of the places and the things that were doing the making during the IR. Finally, we've got rivers and canals. Uh, this is a canal from the US, sorry, not from England. But rivers and canals were used to, fin to transport finished goods to market. They were also used to transport raw materials to the factory. So there was kind of a, there was stuff going up rivers and canals and down rivers and canals. And also provided water power to run machines. If you didn't have a steam engine or before the steam engine was invented, a lot of times flowing water was used to run machines. There were extensive river systems in England, as you can see, they're all labeled on this lovely map for you. Along with all these rivers, if you take a look at this, in the red and in the purple are all of the canals that were in England. So you could see that there's a lot of ways to move things all over England that didn't just require rivers. This can, these canal systems were really important for getting things into the central part of England where there wasn't as much river traffic. In England, there were also extensive coal fields. Uh, there's some arrows that are going to show you where they are, but also the gray areas that you can see on the map. There was a ton, a ton of coal in those spots. So this, again, helped drive all those steam-driven machines during the Industrial Revolution. Finally, some iron ore. And the iron ore are the black dots. Uh, a lot of those are kind of clustered around the northern part of England and then the southwestern part of England. And these were, again, incredibly important for building the machines and building the factories that housed the machines. Other factors for why England was able to industrialize first. Uh, entrepreneurs are people who organize, manage, and take the risks of the business. They'll put out the money that will allow inventors or that will allow kind of people who are going to set up a factory to buy the land and buy the goods that they need in order to make a business work. And the climate in England allowed for these entrepreneurs to feel safe investing their money. First of all, England had a highly developed banking system, so there were loans available for these entrepreneurs to get new machinery, to buy land, or to buy materials to build factories. Also, there was political stability in England. England had been involved in wars, but all these wars were fought on continental Europe. They hadn't been fought on English soil. Also, after the Glorious Revolution in 1689, there weren't further revolutions in England. So it was a place where you had kind of a long-standing democratic core of a government, and people trusted the government to do the right thing and to, to keep England safe and sound and not involved in all sorts of crazy foreign, or not, not involved in all sorts of crazy political instability. Also, there was a patent system in England. Inventors were able to patent their new ideas very, very easily in England. And that meant that people were willing to sit down and think about, hmm, what's the better way to do this? What's a better way to do this? And they knew if they came up with this that they would, in fact, be able to make money off of it because of the patent system. So you should be able to say now that you can identify multiple reasons why England was the first country to undergo the Industrial Revolution. Hopefully you've used page four to kind of guide you through this. If you can say that, great. If there's some stuff that you're stuck on, come talk to me or rewatch this screencast. You could also turn to the textbook pages that will help you out with this as well. Thanks for watching.